Hi, my name is Jules and I'm here to show you the TD27KV V-Drums. The TD27KV is a premium electronic drum set with powerful expressive capability that's ideal for home playing and practice as well as teaching and live and studio production. The concept of V-Drums is to be virtual drums. It's a collection of instruments inside that can be edited and changed in exactly the same way that you would with an acoustic drum set but can also deliver the same levels of playing expression and genuine drumming and playing technique can be used as well. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how the TD27KV delivers that level of authentic, genuine playability and expression. Let's start by taking a look at the components that come with the kit. The TD27KV is a five-piece drum set. That is to say that it comes with a snare drum, three toms and a kick, but also with hi-hats, ride and two crash cymbals as well. Starting with the snare drum, we have here the PD140DS digital snare drum. It's 14 inches in diameter, four and a half inches deep, and also comes with a three-ply mesh-headed snare. And I'll explain about the mesh heads in just a moment. We have three PDX100 tom pads here, also with mesh heads fitted. The VH10 hi-hat cymbals are 12 inches in diameter and come in two parts that fit to a regular acoustic hi-hat stand. Over here, we have the 18-inch CY18DR digital ride cymbal. And again, I'll explain about the digital playability of the ride a little bit later in this video. And we have two crash cymbals, a 12-inch CY12C and a 13-inch CY13R. The mesh heads are a material that has two layers fitted at 45 degree angle to one another and they are fitted to the head in exactly the same way an acoustic drum head is fitted to an acoustic shell. That means they are tension adjustable. So by using a regular drum key, you can adjust the tension right the way across the head um, for playing feel. The toms here have two ply mesh heads, but the snare actually has three plies that has an outer layer and a bottom layer, and then you have a free floating layer on the inside. And the reason that this is three ply is because it offers more stick resistance and rebound for a larger diameter drum. The kick pad with this kit is the KD10. It's a cloth material kick pad fitted to this tower unit that's stable and can be used with both single and double pedals. The TD27 module powers the kit and I'll explain more about the features of this module later on in the video, but the highlights are that it has 100 kits, 55 of those are preset, and there's 728 instruments inside this module and you can choose any one of those instruments and assign them to any of the pads. The whole kit is mounted on this MDS standard drum stand. This is a medium sized drum stand that has all of the components to fit both the tom pads and the cymbals to the stand itself. Um, you'll notice here with the cymbal arms that they have ball clamps for adjustability and boom arms as well. So you can position all of your cymbals as well as the drums exactly where you want them to be. It's worth noting here that the snare drum is mounted to an acoustic snare drum stand that is not supplied with the kit. And equally, the acoustic hi-hat stand, the acoustic kick pedal, and the drum throne are not supplied with the kit either. So you will need to buy those in addition. So let's take a look at the playing areas and surfaces of the kit. First of all, we'll start looking at the hi-hat cymbals. What you'll notice here um, is this is a two-part uh, unit which is fitted to the hi-hat stand. That means as I press the pedal, it will make a pedal noise and I can even splash the hi-hat cymbals as well if I want to. I have a edge playing surface here and I have a bow playing surface of the cymbal here and as I play the cymbals and open with my foot the tone of the cymbals will change as well. The crash cymbals are two zone that means they have an edge area and a bow area and can also be choked in the same way that you could with an acoustic cymbal. The ride is a little bit special, and that's because it's a multi-sensor digital pad. That means it has uh, electric piezo sensors, but also an electrostatic sensor, the same kind that you might find in your smartphone, built into the pad itself. And they actually connect to the module via USB cable. 
What that enables me to do is have another level of playability and expression. So for example, I can play the bow of the ride cymbal. I can play the bell. I can play the edge. So I'm getting three zones, but equally, I can choke the cymbal. And I can mute the cymbal just by touching it with my hand. And it mutes in a very natural and organic way. I can even hold my hand on the cymbal And as I take my hand off, it goes from muting the symbol to giving it a full tonal expression. So that's our symbols. Let's take a look at the drums themselves. So starting with the snare drum, the snare is a key instrument in any drum set and the PD140DS is capable of giving you levels of tonal playability and expression in the same way you would get from an acoustic snare drum. So for example, we have a head sound and we have a rim shot. But when I place my hand on the snare drum, the sensors inside detect that my hand is there. And when I want to play the cross stick, it's automatically played just by the position of my hand. So looking at the toms, we've got two zones for each one of these tom pads. So we have a head sound and we have a rim sound across each of the toms. Let's have a quick look at the kick pad. This is a single zone pad, but it does have really good velocity sensitivity so I can detect my light hits all the way to the heavy hits. And I can even bury the beta to mute the sound there as well. Now V drums have a really unique tool and that is that you can assign different sounds to all of the different zones in the different areas of the pads that I've shown you. So for example, I could have two different tones uh, on the edge or the bow of a cymbal or across the rim and the head of a tom. And let me give you a quick example of that. Here we can hear the tom sounds. And the rim sound that you're hearing here corresponds to the exact acoustic instrument that I've assigned to the tom. But if I wanted to split the head and the rim, I can actually assign a completely different sound to the rim compared to the head. So in this case, I've still got the same tom sounds here on these two toms, but I've also got cowbells assigned to the rims. So that's just a quick example of how you can change up your sound and customize it with V-Drums using all the different zones and playing surfaces across the kit. So let's take a look at the TD27 module. The TD27 module has 100 kits inside. So at the moment I'm kit number one. That's a preset kit and I've got 55 preset kits in here. So if I go all the way to number 55, you'll see that these kits are already made for you. Any one of them could be edited, but we've already made those for you so that you can get going and get playing straight off the bat, maybe even give you some inspiration. Kiss 56 
to 100 are what we call user kits. That means they're really a blank canvas for you to completely edit and change, customize and rename. In fact, you can do that with any of the kits inside this module, even presets, but we've kept it as 55 presets and 45 user kits. Inside the module itself, I've got 728 different instruments. The way I like to think of that is it's like a warehouse full of drums, drum machines, cymbals, percussion instruments, and you can pick any one of those instruments and assign it to any pad or even any part of a pad, just like I showed you earlier on with the different zones across toms, snares, and cymbals. So for example, I'm just gonna go into the kit edit menu here, and you'll see I've got a snail fat snare. That's currently assigned to the snare pad, but if I wanted to, I could change that for a different snare drum. I quite like that beach fat snare drum, but even I could change it to a completely different instrument type, such as acrostic, an electronic snare, a tom, or even a percussion instrument. The TD27 actually has a quick edit function, which makes it really quick, easy, and intuitive for you to change your sound and customize it to suit your own needs. So as I've just shown you, you could choose a different instrument in the editing menu. This knob up here on the right hand side of the module, just by hitting the pad and turning that dial, I could choose a different instrument just by doing that. If I were to hit a tom or hit a cymbal and turn that dial, it's also going to change the instrument assigned to that pad instead. I've also got the ability to change tuning of that instrument. To change damping or muffling. and even to change the level of the instrument, perhaps to make it louder or quieter in comparison to other instruments in the kit. I've also got the ability to go much, much deeper with my editing here. So for example, in the editing menu, I can adjust the depth of the shell, I can change the head type between coated or clear, I can change the amount of overtone I'm getting from the snare or from any drum or cymbal. And even adjust the tension of the strainers. I can add a sub instrument underneath the main instrument that you're hearing here. So for example, I've got the beach snare drum. If I wanted to, I could turn the sub instrument on, choose a different instrument type. So in this case, I'm gonna choose a user sample. And as I play the drum, I'm getting the main instrument and I'm getting my sample as well. I can even adjust the volume that that second sub layer comes in In the edit menu, I've got the ability to adjust the volume of different pads. So it means as I hit an individual pad, such as the hi-hat or such as the snare, I can change the different volume and mix the, the balance of the kit. I've got pad EQ. That allows me to change the equalization on an individual pad across low frequencies, mid frequencies, and even high frequencies. So for example, adding a little bit more low end there to this snare drum. I've got pad compression. So that means that for an individual pad, I can add a different amount of compression to squeeze the frequencies of that instrument a little bit. I've also got master EQ and master compression that I can apply to the whole kit. I can add effects to my instrument. So I can actually use three different types of multi-effect at any one time on any individual pad. And I've got effect types including delays, tape echoes, choruses, 
phases, flanges, and even reverb. So for example, I've got a really long reverb on my snare drum right there. I could also adjust the room. So I could adjust the reverb itself. Or I could adjust the room type between a small studio, larger rooms, stages, or even halls. And I can send different amounts to different individual pads and instruments in the kit. I've got a transient designer that allows me to adjust the amount of attack I get on an individual drum. Or the release, so how long I get sustain on that instrument. I've also got something called pure acoustic ambience inside the TD27. That allows me to play in different ambient environments so I can imagine that I'm in different spaces. So for example, I've got different types of ambience including clear, warm, dry, mild, bright and more. And I can send different amounts of that ambience to different individual pads and instruments in the kit. There's further ways that I can edit the individual sound of my kit. And I spoke earlier on, for example, about adding your own user samples. That's a feature of the TD27 that allows you to record your own wave sample files and import them into the module, assign them to any pads, or assign them as a second layer underneath any individual pad. So for example, you could sample your own snare drum at home, perhaps from a recording session, introduce that into the module and play that on a pad or play it underneath any of the instruments inside the TD27. Having an SD card not only lets you import your own user samples, but also lets you play songs as well. So what you can do is put your own tracks, your favorite songs, as WAV files onto the SD card, put that inside the TD27 module and hit the song button. That then lets you choose from internal songs or to play songs from an SD card. This is one of the internal songs. And having those internal songs just gives me things that I can jam along with, but you can also run them entirely off your own SD card. I've also got a built-in metronome inside the TD27 that allows me to adjust all kinds of different tempos, time signatures and note values. I've also got a coach function and that allows me to do things like check my timing or take me through warm-up routines and that really helps me to track my progress and even stay motivated to keep playing. One of the cool things about the TD27 is it has Bluetooth connectivity and that allows you to pair that with other Bluetooth devices so you can stream music directly from them straight into the TD27 module. So for example, I'm going to pair my smartphone with this module. Making sure that Bluetooth is turned on on your smart device, go to the Bluetooth menu inside the TD27, turn it on, hit pairing and I'll see the TD27 appear as a device on my smartphone. I'm going to pair the two and now I can stream audio directly from Spotify, YouTube, music on my phone into the TD27. The TD27 has traditional MIDI in and outs but also has a USB connection by connecting this to a computer, you can get USB MIDI, but you can also get USB audio, allowing you to record every individual pad and effects, ambience and more as individual channels directly into your door. Finally, let's talk about all the different inputs and outputs we have on the TD27 itself. First of all, the TD27 has four additional trigger pad connections. If you're using this with a TD27KV or a VAD506, Crash 2 will already be used, giving you three additional trigger pad inputs. With that, you can add more cymbals, more toms, BT1 trigger pads, 
and more. I have a stereo output as left and right, but I also have two individual outputs. And the TD27 allows me to assign different pads or instruments to those outputs. So for example, I could have a kick and a snare as individual outputs to a mixer or a front of house desk. And I could have everything else coming through the master outputs. I've got three digital pad connections on the back of the TD27 module. One for the PD140 DS snare drum, another for the CY18DR ride cymbal, and another for future upgrades. Lastly, I've got a foot switch connection, which allows me to connect a foot switch to change things like kits or even start and stop songs inside the TD27 module. So that's the TD27 KV, a really powerful and capable instrument that you can completely customize and make your own, as well as play with great expression thanks to the digital pad connectivity. The next step is to find a Roland authorized retailer and go and check it out for yourself. Thanks.